A lesser known yet undeniably amusing anecdote about Will Smith and his onset behavior has recently come to light, shining a light on the comedic actor's charmingly quirky side. In an entertaining twist that only Hollywood could provide, Barry Sonnenfeld, the director behind the iconic film Men in Black, took to the airwaves to share a hilariously peculiar story that has listeners both laughing and scratching their heads. His revelations came during an episode of the podcast Let's Talk Off Camera with Kelly Ripa, where the casual, off-the-cuff nature of the conversation allowed for some delightful revelations about the beloved star. Sonnenfeld began by recalling a particular scene from Men in Black, a film that has achieved legendary status since its release. He described a moment involving Smith and his co-star, the legendary Tommy Lee Jones, where both actors had to be hermetically sealed, inside a pod to achieve the desired shot. Picture this two of Hollywood's most prominent actors, ready to deliver a captivating scene, locked inside a confined space, surrounded by the hustle and bustle of a film set filled with crew members, cameras, and equipment. Just as the crew was gearing up to film, an unexpected situation unfolded that would leave everyone involved with a story to tell for years to come. In a sudden turn of events, Sonnenfeld revealed that Smith began to express his apologies to Jones with an unusual urgency that took everyone by surprise. He even called for a ladder to facilitate his co-star's quick escape from the pod, leaving the director and the crew in a state of confusion and disbelief. What could possibly warrant such a frantic call for an escape? Was there a dire emergency on set? Did they suddenly realize that they had forgotten a critical prop? The truth, however, was far more unexpected and uproariously funny. As it turns out, the reason for the commotion was none other than the fact that Will Smith is a farter. Sonnenfeld's light-hearted confession sparked laughter among listeners as he elaborated, you don't even want to be sitting next to him at the Disney ranch. We evacuated the stage for about three hours, just let that sink in for a moment. Three hours of evacuation due to the overwhelming odor emanating from one of Hollywood's biggest stars. This amusing revelation raises an array of questions about the realities of life on a film set and what it takes to clear a space so dramatically. Imagine the scene the entire film crew, bustling with energy and anticipation, suddenly transformed into a hasty evacuation unit, all because of one man's flatulence. How strong does one's flatulence have to be to cause an entire crew to leave a film set for a staggering three hours? This situation calls for an investigation. What kind of lingering odor was left in the air? Did it hang in the atmosphere, refusing to dissipate even after the crew had left? One can only imagine the stories they exchanged during their three-hour hiatus, bonding over the unexpected and rather comical situation. And of course, the curiosity doesn't stop there. Let's delve into the realm of culinary possibilities. What on earth did Will Smith consume prior to filming that could lead to such notorious odors? Was it a casual lunch of beans and rice? Or perhaps he indulged in a spicy feast featuring his favorite cuisine? The mind races with visions of the actor savoring a delightful meal that ultimately transformed into an epic flatulence moment on set. Did he have any inkling of the impending gaseous disaster or was he blissfully unaware, completely shocked by the aftermath of his meal? Upon their return to the set after three long hours, one can't help but wonder what the atmosphere was like. Was it business as usual or did the crew walk back onto the stage filled with laughter, ready to tease Smith about the incident? Did they gather around him, playfully ribbing him for making everyone flee? Were there some awkward exchanges or did they all share a collective chuckle? bonding over the absurdity of it all. It would be fascinating to learn how the crew reacted did they confront Smith about the incident, or did they simply let it slide, content to laugh about it in private. Moreover, how did this unexpected flatulence fiasco impact the film's shooting schedule? Did they manage to stay on track, or were they thrown off course by the three-hour break? This adds another layer of intrigue to the situation, as film productions are often tightly scheduled and can be disrupted by even minor incidents. Did this humorous episode lead to a ripple effect in the production timeline? Did they have to scramble to make up for lost time? Or did everyone take it in stride, accepting that life on set can often be unpredictable? In a world where we frequently uncover surprising details about our favorite celebrities, I never would have guessed that Will Smith would be revealed as the gas gaffer, the cutting the cheese captain, or even the deadly fart enforcer. It's a title that seems almost absurd yet somehow fits perfectly within the playful narrative of his career. Perhaps it's these candid moments that create a deeper connection between stars and their audiences, reminding us that even the most celebrated actors have their quirks, flaws, and humorous mishaps. Ultimately, this whimsical story sheds light on the more human side of Hollywood stars, showcasing their ability to navigate the challenges of their profession with a sense of humor, even when it involves the occasional flatulence incident. It serves as a delightful reminder that behind the glitz and glamour of the film industry, 
There lies a world of laughter, camaraderie, and unforgettable moments that may not make the final cut but are cherished by those who experience them. Whether we refer to him as the gas gaffer or simply Will Smith, it's clear that this tale is one for the ages, a testament to the light-hearted side of life in the entertainment world.